a shot! What a shot! Boom, she rather break. nine winning the break. Oh, she's made the nine ball. And here we are at the 2024 Predator Pro Billiard Series Woman Showdown. The game is nine ball. We are at Rio Olsen Hotel and Casino, Las Vegas, Nevada. And we're having a quarterfinal match between Siming Chen and Christina Tekach. I am Benjamin Behassin, commentating from you in the booth with me tonight, Jim Wesh from Toronto. Hi, Jim, how are you? I'm doing great, Ben. Very happy to be here, too, and uh, really looking forward to this ladies' matchup. You take center stage here this afternoon. Siming Chen in your picture up against Christina Takach. They've made their way through to the quarterfinals, the knockout stages, the format changes. Used to be a shootout Absolutely. at one rack apiece yeah. and the one set apiece, and now in the third set, if it goes 3-3, you see the shootout. Yeah, that would be great. Actually, both players are invited players. They were not seeded players at the beginning of the tournament, but they are made their way through the round robin format, which took place a few days ago. And uh, yeah, uh, there were four groups of four players, and the first two players of each group advanced to the quarterfinals. So now we are having a box office match, right? Rack number one, Chen. To break. Great break there. She made the one in the corner. She can see the two, but she has to manage something playing defense because the the cut will lead the cue ball right into the the eight ball, and it's really tough to control the. The contact there. I don't know if she's going to to gamble a little bit and go for the shot, and hope hopefully having the three. The good break, good control of the cue ball. Yeah, she went for it. Actually, she misses the eight, which is a good point. But still, bad contact on the nine, and uh, yeah, sadly for her, deep. Ben, she didn't miss the nine, and that's left her in yeah. trouble. Kicking at one cushion, and now she needs a little bit of luck. Contact vital, yeah, she's electing to go one rail to the side. I don't know if Focal she called time. it. Oh no, the game is nine ball, so you, she she doesn't even need to call it. So she's going to try to make something happen here. 
yeah great hit solid hit but well she's gotten a roll that cue ball's found cover behind yep. the five and Christina comes to the table looking a little dejected but if she can reach this comfortably she may yeah elect a short cue maybe a little too far out yeah, into the middle of the table though yeah you can't I reach so. not tall Center enough table, yeah, yeah. She's going one way or the to send the cube, the, the three ball. Yeah, just like that. That's a great shot. I mean, the kick and stick is not easy. Yeah, again, with the game being nine ball, a little bit more an element of luck involved. We saw a couple fluke nines yesterday. None bigger, actually, than the one Allison Fisher showed us in a deciding rack. Ended up losing the match anyway, but it was a huge fluke. Yeah, but the thing is, it allows also some kind of two-way or three-way shot which that does not happen in 10 ball, you know, and that makes the game a, a little bit more creative and uh, fun also. And here's an example. She's got, if she makes his three, she's got a carom to the nine from the four. Yeah. Oh, that was a big miss. Now it turns it right back over to Chen. Yeah, but no open shot. Again, she'll have, both women will have safety battle here. And we are here in the women's showdown. The game is nine ball and the, the price money is $100,000 with $35,000 for the winner. And the event is part of the Q Sport International Expo in conjunction with BCA Pool League, USA Pool League. Thousands of players here. Great Fiesta of Pool. One of the biggest events in the year. Yeah, she hit it too hard, so the bottom rail stiffed a little bit, and that's why she came short, and she didn't hit the three. So big opportunity here, first opportunity for Siming Shen to close the rack. Well, the six came down and feathered the four, and I don't think the carom is quite as easy as it was with the four a little further up the table. Yeah. So we'll see what she, she thinks. Yeah, maybe she, she has to use English. Yeah, the caram is on. She still likes it. I think. She likes it. Yeah, yeah, using left English to open up a little bit of the nine, soft speed to, to make the pocket bigger. She should be okay. Yeah, just like that. Great. Just like that, Ben. One nothing. Seming Chen in yeah. front. Christina to catch. Actually had the first chance. She missed an open three. And then failing to contact the three. When the snooker was laid. Well, that cost her the opening rack. So number two, and we'll again get a look at Seming Chen's break, which showed a lot of power in the first one. Yeah, and we have so four quarterfinals. The first one is Ximing Shen against Christina Tikach. Then we have Margareta Fifilova against Wei Chu Shen from Taipei. We have Yasmin Ushen against Christina Zlateva and Cheska Centeno against Xu Xie Ru. Of course, Cheska winning the Las Vegas Open, the ladies Las Vegas Open. So she's well and truly in form. Well, she doesn't mind going back to her chair there. Nothing down and no clear path to the one for Christina. Yeah. That's where the game is taking a, a lot of strategies and because she has to think something that's not too hard. Otherwise, she will 
the mention will give it back. So push-outs are always tricky. She's going to tie it up. Oh, I thought she... Yeah, she's tying up the 4 and the 7. Leave herself a kick safety. Well, I expect Chen to take this. Pretty easy kick yeah. and a football contact. She should leave that cue ball right behind the 2 and the 3. Yeah. That's why it's a good point that she, she tied up oh, a little bit too thin. But the, the point is, it was a good mindset to try to tie it up the four and seven, because if you, even if she left an easy kick safety, then the layout and the run out wasn't a gimme. She's got her on one foul and now looking to keep the handcuffs on. And again, it's a race to four. Two out of three sets. If it goes to the third set, 3-3, three, three, then we see the shootout. Yeah, she will open up the 4-7, staying behind the 5. Try to get ball in hand with a clear table now, I guess. With a little bit of a stun follow. Yeah, I like that. That's a good shot there. Would have been a great shot if she'd have taken this top cushion away. Yeah. Well, another error in judgment. Aired on the yeah, kick save she, when she scratched yeah, she on the one, it. and now air in judging the hit on the one. Yeah, I think she didn't hit high enough on on the cue ball, so that it the the top the top rail didn't open enough. Maybe she should have been she should have hit a little above center. Well, she does have her opponent on two fouls, but looking at the balls right now, pretty clear that she's going to try and go through them. Yeah, the four to the five is a little bit tricky because the four is in the center of the table and she really wants to have the right angle to slide and play the five. Yeah, she got a little bit funny here. Maybe rolling the four and stay underneath the nine. She's looking at just make the four and stay in the center of the table to reach the five from there. Because the nine ball is a big ball here. Yeah, just like that. Straightforward Moving position to the six here. Yeah. Three cushions. Just got to get above that eight ball. That's assuming she can yeah, reach it comfortably. Reels. Yeah, low left to go into the corner. One, two, short, long, long. Yeah, like that. But maybe not good enough. She had a lot of room for error there, in fairness. She didn't quite strike that as intended. Just actually too much bottom for me. Yeah. Or too slow. She could have played four rails actually. Yeah, she tried to make something happen. You know, in the uh, shape the she just missed from the five to the six, sometimes you underestimate where the cue ball has to land. And there the cue ball had to land in the corner, really in the in a square of the first 
diamonds in the corner pocket and maybe she underestimated this the way she played that yeah she's letting the the cue out not afraid to hit it and looking a lot more confident than is Christina to catch two nothing Seming Chen and breaking in rack number three yeah she had opportunities in the first two games but then she had a tricky layout from the from the five to the six and uh, she didn't let the stroke out quite enough but she's a professional she's experienced she's young but she's experienced so she may know how to recover and move on well she's got to stay positive ben that's the key to success in this game yeah you got to have a very short moment. memory. Yeah. A lot of power in her break. Good square hit on the one. This is kind of interesting layout because when you don't have too much traffic in the center of the table, you, she has nowhere to hide here. And playing safety on the one is not that easy. Maybe she will cut the one towards the nine and send the, send the cue ball long cross table yeah try to to hide somewhere behind the six in the corner well she's found cover pretty easy yeah. a pretty easy hit but she'll want to contact the left hand side of that three as we look put distance between the cue ball and the object ball yeah or the one sorry i'm i'm looking at the three she's got to get to the one she, i was wonder if she's contemplated jumping this just got to get over the yeah. edge of the six maybe just a little curve no oh, good shot and yeah. i think she's left the yeah. two on excellent shot This is an important rack, this one, for Christina. She's got to try and pull it back because her confidence has to be wavering a little bit. Yeah, and she really let the stroke out really great on the two ball, going back and forth on the right side of the three to pocket the five in the same pocket as the three. She might be out here. Just a little work to do from the six to the seven. make sure she she doesn't get too straight on the eight but on the right side of the seven yeah she elected to play two rails around the seven she could have also played stun with a little bit of right inside to get underneath the seven but still okay
nice shot. A lot of yeah. left-hand spin as Christina looked at that cue ball. That made that shot a lot harder. She really has solid technique, fundamentals, and basics. Head stays perfectly still, Ben. She really does have great technique. And 2-1, she's pulled one back. She'll break in rack number four. Yeah, they are both strong. Technically, and Christina is uh, sharing the life of probably one of the, the one of the most, I mean, technique-wise, great players in the world. In the name of Fedor, here he is. He's one of the best. I mean, technically, this guy is really amazing. Really square, really. Yeah, he goes down on shots like like snooker players, I would say. And he's still alive in the, the World Ten Ball Championships. That's taking place at the same time. He'll be in action later this afternoon. Good break here. Yeah, no love at the table, though. $100,000 prize money up for grabs in this ladies' showdown event. 35000 to the eventual winner. And again, there were only 16 participants. Eight seeded players and eight invited players. And as Ben pointed out, both players here invited players yeah but they they are part of the woman scene like they are really top top players simin chen is a much more experienced player than christina but i'll tell you what this match is 50 50 for me yeah, I wouldn't be shocked to see this go right to a shootout. Go right down to a shootout. A little unlucky catching that side point. And I think this is available for Christina. Yeah, the thing is she's going to slide towards the two and she don't want to, to go too close to the two. Maybe if she hit it thin, then she could, yeah. Yeah, she's going to slide towards the two. That, that was the problem, actually. And sometimes you have to take your chance. Because that was tricky. The shape was tricky. Yeah, I don't know if she got the snooker there. Maybe she left a long shot. I don't know. It's, it's hard to say from here. Oh, she's she's with the jump too, so that works. Hit it too thin, but Christina has to find a way to to get cover here. Yeah, she wants to think about this a little bit longer, Ben. The two into the bottom left corner would avail position yeah. to the three. That was this is a rack winning shot if she gets it. Yeah, she's going to swing. Yeah, and the thing is, you often miss those shots thick. 
because of the throw. You're using stun with a touch of left, and so the throw comes into play, and more often you will miss this shot thick than thinner. You maximize your chances to make the ball if you are using high ball, center ball, no English. But then you'll have to swing the cue ball three rails to reach the three. So it would have been tough also. Still, she's still got a lot of work to do. She's wrong side of the three. She didn't quite play that with enough conviction. Yeah. Good shot there. Yeah, just slightly over on what would have been perfect position. Yeah, yeah, that was really a good shot. Follow, follow through. Good technique. Good speed. Leaves, her, leaves herself the thin cut on the five, so back up and yeah. down the middle of the table, get a little closer yeah, no to choice. the six. She had no choice, but still okay. I mean, oh, she's queuing down below center. So maybe she tries to kill the cue ball or, yeah, that's a tough shot. Wow, that's cue ball control. Yeah, the shot looked like it was a thinner cut from the overhead camera. But that was excellent. Yeah. I mean, you have to play with your heart when you are slow rolling a ball using outside English to, to go two rails and cut the line of the six. That was huge. I mean, that was a great shot there. Great nerves control. Looking unfazed is Christina in her chair. But it's a 3-1 advantage now. For Seming Chen. She'll break for the last time in the opening set. Yeah. Yeah, she missed that two ball, but that was a tough shot. I mean, a tough opening shot in, the, in this rack. And she doesn't feel that comfortable. Sometimes when, you, when your A game is not there yet, maybe patience is your friend. Patience is always your friend. It's a virtue. Yeah. Strange yeah. to me, you look at the amount of balls pocketed, 16 for Chen and 15 for Christina to catch, yet the score is 3-1 in favor of Chen. Wing ball. We don't have no three-point rules in effect here. That means no rules on the break. Usually when you play nine ball, now nowadays the, the nine ball is on the spot and you have three-point rules. That means that you have to or pocket three balls or if you don't pocket three balls, then three balls at least have to pass the kitchen line. But this rule is not in effect here. She's wondering where to push, to push out for safety. Well, she must like the jump shot better from here. Christine yeah, didn't but... waste much time there. That's not a push out for safety, so I kind of don't like it. I mean, 
there are many other ways to to push up without leaving yourself a tough long jump shot for sure Christina just let it, let them go let her go and she made it so <laughs> hey Ben it's a lot more important if she likes it yeah absolutely that I, I was gonna say that great shot yeah but I think in, again, in percentages you, yeah you can't fault Christina there at all for sending her back in yeah. because that was a low percentage shot you're absolutely right yeah absolutely. unless you're Fedor Gorst yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> right. I was thinking about that. Great shot there. Great speed control, but still she is on the wrong side. I don't know from there if she can kill it. I don't think so. She has to go back and forth to the center of the table. I guess. Yeah, the thing is the path she used has the danger to be frozen on the six or jacking up above the six. But she's okay. I mean, she got away with it. Cues the ball very nice. Both of these ladies. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, the first set is going to go to Chen. She might elect it to play the eight ball on the on the top right corner pocket, just like stopping the cue ball where the seven ball is, leaving herself a slightly angle on the eight to slide to the nine. She wants to be on the long rail here. Oh, she even draws. Why not? Again, unafraid to let the cue out. This eight will virtually seal it. And a very convincing first set from Simming Chen. Did very yeah. little wrong, broke well. Her safety game was strong. And Christina yeah. Takach is going to leave the, the playing area. One set in the books, Chen in front. And they're taking a short break, yeah. Ben. So I am going to follow suit and take a short break as well. I'll be right back with you. Yeah.
Well, Ben, the ladies are back at the table getting ready. Set number two, Christina yeah. to catch the break. And I was having a look at some of those match statistics, and uh, they certainly belie the 4 1 first set score because of a lot of areas that were quite close. Only yeah. A differential of six balls totally pocketed. Again, a dry break from Christina here. With a long shot on the one. She has the right angle to draw a little bit and find herself in good shape for the two. So that's a good opening. Yeah, like that. See, even that camera angle, that makes that shot look a lot easier than it is. She was quite a ways away from that, and that's just how well yeah. she's cueing. And uh, the title sponsor of the event is Predator Pro Billiard Series. We also have sponsors and partners of Predator Group, Kamui, Yalin, Medallia Light, Rams of Puerto Rico, and Samsung TV Plus. The Pro Billiard Series partner for this event are Q Sport International, EPBF, CoZoom, and Billiard TV. We have two tables live stream this year, and we are playing on Predator Apex 9 foot tables with Predator Arcadio Reserve Clothes, Arcos 2 Balls, Predator Iro Racks, and Bridges. Live stream of available on YouTube channel Pro Video TV. I'm trying to see if you've missed anything. <laughs> All sounds good, Ben. Yeah, Fantastic but the fire, event the, and yeah. drawing rave reviews from all the players. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that Mistake was a tough there. pass. Yeah, she was on the wrong side of the four and she might have a long way to go all around the table to reach the five and she hit the seven ball on the way. So now, she found herself in a tough spot here. Maybe she can, yeah, drag shut the five and going, spin it behind the eight. Yeah, just like that. That's a good shot there. Wow. Oh, that's that's superb. a shot. Superb. No kidding. Over that distance, that slow drag shot. I can't yeah. begin to tell you how tough that was. Yeah, the five ball is a big ball, though, but from the position that she was in, she couldn't get any better than this. I mean. She only has two options here. The short, the short rail like this, the one rail. Hoping for something to happen. Or she had also the, the short, long behind the, the five and try to create distance between the balls, which I preferred, but. Because more good things can happen. Using the two rails here, she could have made it on the side, create distance and play the containing. That's the first big miss. miss a from rare Christine. open miss. It, yes, yeah. it is. And Christina has to do whatever she can to try and help Siming Chen remember that miss. But she is not in an easy spot. Yeah, a good recovery shot there. And 
then step shot or soft draw on the six to get the the more angle she can on the seven. Yeah, a little angle on the seven, get closer to that eight. This is what you want to avoid. You want to avoid queuing above the nine. I don't know if she's queuing above the nine. But no, she's okay. Good shot there. It's never easy with that distance to to go cross table for the nine. Okay, nice hope form. Confidence. For the first time in the match, Christina finds herself in front in the set. Be it they've only played one rack, but at least she'll help Seming Chan to remember that bad miss on the five. Yeah. For the moment she was she wasn't successful on the break, but things can change quick. Square hit, no English in the cue ball. A little bit too low, so she went back and forth, but open shot on the one. Good start. Try to take a 2-0 lead in the second set. Still okay, but not an easy one on the two ball. Natural position for the three ball, though. Right into the throat of the pocket. Good job there. And perfect on the three. Perfect. Yeah, she made sure she was passing the line of the tree to go up table for the four. That's great. Now you watch that cue after she delivers it through the cue ball and it stays right on that intended line. Never wavers. Stays yeah, she very might not still be over the ball. The yeah, that's not that's in a good shape for the four, but she would have liked to go a little bit further, but still okay. Yeah, the thing is, when you put the extension on this type of shots, then you put more weight in the cue ball, and then you have to control the speed better. She went a little bit too far on that five ball, but again, still okay. Low left, smooth stroke, back to where the five ball is now. Yeah, that's okay. Oh. A lot of spin there.
it's not going to be easy to reach. Yeah, but she does look a different player than she did in the first set. She's getting her chances now, and she's making them pay. Good shot there. Make sure you don't stay on the rail. Good speed. And all of a sudden, the five ball that Siming Shane missed in the first game cost her two games. And counting. That's nine ball. Yeah, we wondered when she missed it, Ben, how costly it would be. And we also alluded to the fact that it was very important for Christina to take advantage and help her to remember that miss. Well, I bet you she does. Yeah. She kind of a reset during the break. Shows her mental toughness. Let's have a look at these statistics and see if She's completely wrested everything away from her. Yeah, and the player overall performance is really good on both sides. Way over 800. Good break good there again. Ball. Ooh, maybe she has it on the side. Looks like, yeah. I don't know if she can slide enough towards the two. But she's going to go for it, definitely. Yeah, this is not yeah, a gimme. trying to, not at all, but settle herself. Yeah, that was a nice try. That was a good attempt, but a little bit too much of an English here. Too much spin. Opens up a little, a little too much the one ball. Chen will be quite happy with that result, too. Yeah, but still, she can curve a little bit to the side rail and hit the high side of the one, try to create distance, even to make the one on the top right corner pocket using medium speed. Yeah, like that. That's the shot. This is great. This is smart. This is how you get good results. Good shot selection there. Is it worth banking the one into the nine? She just had a look hmm. down that line. It's almost a dead on hit yeah. on that one. Actually, she's on a tough spot there. She can't make the one and she could gamble and try to make the nine, sending the cue ball towards the eight to try to get the cover. I don't know if she can see more than a square hit on the one. I don't know, but she could use the three also, a kind of a stop shot there. Yeah, like that. Oh, almost. She went at the nine. No, she knew yeah, she was she holding that cue ball it. behind cover. That was a, yeah, that that was a risk shot. worth taking. Yeah. Again, the point here is to create distance between walls. She could make three on the side, but the thing is creating distance, which she did it perfect. I mean, 
this is a great safety battle here good choice good shot selections good execution wondering if she can go for the cut all in go back and forth i think she's queuing to play the nine with the cue ball I don't know that that was the game plan, but it certainly worked out for her and yes. Christina getting the short cue. Yeah. But this is a kind of shot where even if you make the shot, then you won't have the two. So I'd rather go to the short reel and try to, to clip it and go up table with the cue ball. But... We have to keep in mind also that they are playing under shot clock, which makes the game a lot more difficult because you don't really have time to to judge and think too much. That's a great shot there. She took advantage in this round with this shot. Her safety game has been exquisite, really. Yeah. And here you don't have an easy escape yeah she might have maybe to curve the same shot as, as she previously did but yeah that's a tough one here she has to choose the right speed not too hard try to create distance always the same thing if you choose the right speed you've done half of the job here Yeah, that was the right speed, but she didn't hit the one, so Siming Shen has an opportunity to score here. I think everything goes the five to the six to the seven. Yeah, she won't have to move the cue ball around too much either. Yeah, she should be out here. The thing is, I don't know if the seven passes the nine, like with the big margin. She's perfect on the five. Slide to the side rail. Up for the six in the opposite bottom left pocket. Well, she might have a slight angle here. If she doesn't like the seven nine, she might even be able to drop behind the seven to the same pocket. Yeah, she was watching at the combo Personal actually. Preference. But she can play the seven to the same pocket. Yeah, also. It really depends on the position of the nine, if it's hanging or not. Yeah, she's okay. Yeah, she came over and looked at the seven nine combination without looking at the angle she had on the six. She was perfect on the six to drop onto the seven here. Yeah. And again, a good safety shot on the one gave her ball in hand to take advantage in this rack. Yeah, that's a, a similar storyline that we saw in the opening set. 
she really had Christina tied up in knots and bought herself a lot of opportunities similar to that one. 2-1 now in the second set. Yeah. Still in favor of Christina to catch, but Seming Chen will break in rack number four. Yeah, but we just had a nice, really strong safety battle in this rack. Back and forth. Smart shot. Good shot selections, good execution. That was great nine ball. And in the other quarterfinals, Wei Tzu Shen is leading 1-0, one, one set zero and three games to one in the second set against Margaret Fefilova. Christina Zlateva is trailing one, one set zero against Yasmin Ocean. And Cheska Sedenio is trailing also one set to nothing against Shu. Open shot for Simming Shen here. She has an opportunity to tie it up the set. Yeah, another good break. Left herself a chance at the one. Everything's in the open. Good position here from the two to the three. Got to just get by that four. Spins it. Yeah, Clears the four. And she's in control now. Now she has a lot of angle on the three, so she might she might elect it to come above the side pocket, the opposite side pocket, to play the four ball on the side, or go back and forth and play the four ball on the corner. Yeah, that's what she did, but she, she hit it a little bit too high, so she went forward a little bit more than she would have liked to. Let, let's us a, a long shot on the four. But still okay. Under pressure, it's never a gimme though. Again, these top players make these difficult shots look a lot easier than they are. Yeah, that's true. Christina started this set out very strong. Yeah. A bad miss on a five ball from Chen, and they afforded Christina to take a 2 nothing lead, but now she's been pegged back 2-2. Two -two. And with the break in rack number five, and she has been breaking so well. Yeah, and actually she came back winning that safety battle in the third rack of the set. And maybe she got she took confidence of it. Yeah, set two. Christina hundred percent success on the on the break. Set one actually yeah, a hundred percent, and set two with Seming Chen with a hundred percent success on the on the break. We'll see if that continues here. Well, she got a ball, but I don't think she can get through to the one. Yeah, and all that's on is... offer is a one-eight combination. Can she curve a little bit to play a kick and stick on the one, sending the, the one ball up table? I don't know. 
If you can't do this, then that's too sharp. And sometimes what happens is you curve a little bit too much and you cut the one and make the combination. <laughs> sometimes that happens. Yeah, that wasn't a good hit from Siming Shen here. Just a bit here. too thick. Yeah, a little too yeah. thick, Ben, and that could be a very costly miss. Look at the balls. Yeah. She stayed a little bit too much in position on that one ball, a little bit more than usual, actually. I, th I thought she would have, like, get up and reset to try to make that one ball, but... She didn't, she, she went for it and unfortunately a little bit too thick there. Sometimes on these cut shots, you punch the ball a little bit too much and that induces throw again. That's more often the problem and the throw take the balls out of line. Yeah, that was a big turning point there. Yeah, that was a chance for her to get to the hill, breaking. Now you feel like she needs a mistake from Chen. There have been a few. Yeah, but now with the right angle on the 7 and the 8-9 lane like this, no chance she would give away this game. Perfect position. Beautifully played. Yeah. And breaking for the match. The second set. 3-2 in front. Looking to put a ribbon on this one. Yeah, I love that format because it's looks like a little bit like tennis you know she is on the hill she's leading one set to nothing but still christina is only two games away from us th from a third set so it's really it's really tough mentally to to recover from mistakes like this but also she is not that far behind What a break from Siming Chen here. What a break. Now this one's going to be a little bit trickier. She made two off the break. Get a clear look at the one. Yeah, but the, the thing the is, 
she could use the three balls over there to get the cue ball behind the seven four nine sending the two ball on the other side of the table yeah just like that oh she hit it with too much of english leaving an opportunity here for christina to tie it up the set because i think the four ball does pass the seven so if she makes the two, then she'll be she'll be able to to run out there. Still, she yeah. Has... Well, that was a that was a very bad hit. I mean, she had a huge yeah. area to try and duck with that cue ball. Yeah. Good shot there. Now, if she can flick the nine here, that would help her too. Just clear the path a little bit better towards that seven. Yeah, absolutely. Just like that. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, she took the nine ball out of the equation here, sending the cue ball towards the long rail. And that's a good point. Two rail center table. That's perfect. Punished her for that lack safety effort. Yeah, and three, yeah. three in the second set. Set Christina to catch must win to force a third and decider. And remember, in that third set, should Christina get this one, and if that third set gets to 3-3, we're treated to the shootout. Maximum and drama, all the maximum pressure. Maximum, maximum drama for sure, Ben. But pressure creates diamonds. Yeah. Remember, it's for a, a spot in, into the semifinals of that women's showdown, so it's a big thing. And just stay on course for that $35,000 winner's purse. Big break. Biggest break Christina's hit. Good hit. Wing ball. The six ball goes in the bottom right open shot but she'll have to play the, the two five combination to be out and she's on the wrong side of the one so she might select it to to stay away from that combination and play it from a long way to go. She needs that two yeah. to hang around that corner pocket. If she gets the five, she wants that two to the same pocket. 
this is all in you really have to play all in on this shot it's a do or die thing great This is a really good shot there because you don't want to be straight on the three because the four is on the other side of the, of the table on the long rail. Make sure she has an angle on the three, so. Mm, oh. A little bit short on this short. one. Yeah, but she will be okay going back and forth, eyeball, no English, like that. Maximize the pocketing. Yeah, perfect. Nice. It looks like we're going to have a decider, Jim. Well, as she goes through the motions here, Boyfriend Fedor Gorst wasn't even watching, but I can tell you it'd be a break and run out that he would take. And she is battled in this. She's never hung her head. Yeah. Never saw any emotion from her at all. Never shook her head at warrior all. Warrior mindset. This is a warrior mindset. You need to have it if you want to perform great. And she's got there. 4-3, she secures set number two and forces the third in deciding set. Great performance, this one from Christina. Hanging tough. Break served her well after the first set, so why not take another break? We'll have a look at the match statistics here. Very yeah. close. Set number two, Simming Chin actually 912 player performance, and Christina 865. It all turned around in the second to last rack with the bad safety shot. Yeah. seen it cleared up from there and then a break and run out in the decider. I'll tell you what, we are having a great match here. Very high quality. Everybody's trailing one set to nothing, but is she's leading in the second set three games to one so we already have two semi-finalists from chinese taipei here yeah there are they're a hotbed of talent. Look at the Coe brothers. They're both still alive in the men's world 10 ball championships. Ko Ping Yi, Ko Ping Chung. Yeah. Whatever they're feeding them in Chinese Taipei, I want a few of those dishes over here in Canada. So I think it's Simi Chen's break now. 
in the decider, right? Ben, I'll take your word for it. I think Christina broke the, the last set. She did. To start. And again, just to remind everyone, if it goes 3-3, three, three, and Ben and I, we we said this match looked like it was going to go wire to wire. And if it goes 3-3 three, three in this set, then the girls will be confronted with the shootout. And I have to be honest, I watched Christina to catch practicing the spot shot shootout. I never saw Siming Chen practice it at all. Yeah, that's true, yeah. They were practicing like half an hour before the start of the match. And Christina did some, a few, a couple of practice shots on the spot shot, yeah. And Siming Shen Everything didn't. under the magnifying glass now. And the pressure mounts. Again, wing ball goes in. Open shot, long open shot on the one. Tough shot though. And the thing is, if she makes it, she's gonna slide over the, the side rail and maybe she won't be able to see the two or to pocket the two. Was a good shot there. She tried to play a high ball, long, short, and avoid the five. I don't know if she can see the two ball to make it. I think she can, Ben. Long, straight, and she can hold the cue ball there. Or if she can power it up great. and even draw out. No, oh, she tried. Almost fluked the nine. Yeah. Look what she's left, Christina. Everything's in the open. What a great way to start the last set. Yeah. She had to cheat the pocket a little bit to make sure she she stopped the cue ball there to have the right angle on the three to stop the four and then go to the five. She did it perfectly. So this is stop shot on the four, stop shot on the five. A little draw on the seven, and she might be out. Really can't say enough about her mental toughness. I mean, she was really fighting an uphill battle. Lost the first set 4-1. Trailed 3-2 in the second. Just held herself together and waited for her chances. And when they came, she capitalized. You know, Ben, that's all you could ever worry about in professional pool. You don't ever yeah. worry about what your opponent does. You just 
wait for your chances and be ready if and when they come. Yeah, but that's easier Rap said than done, <laughs> especially in the arena. Well, and, and that's what they work on. They work on having that mental strength. Fundamentally, yeah. they all look terrific. So what separates the good players from the great ones? Yeah, absolutely. And again, Fedor has to be enjoying things a lot more than he did after the first set. Yeah. After the first set, Ben, it looked like they were going to be having hamburgers for dinner. If Christina wins this, they're going for a nice steak. <laughs> Woo! She almost made the nine on the break. After that, they will be playing the semis tonight at 7 p.m. Yes, the final tomorrow, early evening. And again, the men's, the Predator World 10 Ball Championships, they're also taking place and they'll be front and center later today too. match in that round that's definitely cap captured my imagination. Alex Pegali and Shane Van Boning. I can't yeah. even count how many times I've commentated on matches that they've played together. Mm, yeah. They're down to the last 24 in the men's. So the winner of I think it's four o'clock local, the four o'clock matches. The winners there will be through to the last 16 and there's a redraw. So a lot of pressure for the men as well. Yeah. What we call loser's qualification. Seven, nine for a two nothing advantage. No doubt. As boyfriend looks on from the front row, he has completely turned the tables on Simming Chen. And now Chen in her chair wondering where it all went wrong. Good break here again. Solid hit. I think yeah, it's just going to be a push out, I think. Two, yeah. Uh, two balls on the break. Well, she's looking. Maybe there's a path through to this one. Didn't look like it, but maybe there is. Yeah, maybe she can hit a slice of the one, but maybe she can even make it in the top right but it's a, again 
it's a long all in shot I mean she might be able to bank it and hit the, the eight try to use the three seven as blockers also from here it's tough to say yeah like that I like that shot good shot there from Christina Looking at the one nine. Ooh, no. But the two and the nine are tied up. And is it a two know, nine combination in the side? She's yeah, coming to have it a looks look like at it's it. Dead. Yeah, looks like it's dead, but that would be brutal. It's close. Yeah, it's close. Yeah, and the way she played it tells us that the combination is on. Wow, that's brutal. But I'm it all so depends sure. if it's it all depends if it's frozen. If she's gonna use English, because in this type of situation you can manipulate the nine ball. You really can by hitting it soft or thick or using English or a stun, you really can manipulate this. Looks like it's thin though. I don't know why she didn't play yeah. it. It was in. I don't know why yeah, she didn't easy. play that. Yeah. She just couldn't. She couldn't draw herself to play that nine into the side pocket, and it looks set. And even the track it was taking there after she tried to flick the edge of the two, that nine was in. Yeah. That's a tough shot also. Wow. What a great shot that was. You have to have a lot of heart to play this shot, like queuing above the ball, going forward two rails to leave yourself a big shot on the three. This is big heart. Wow, that's great. We've seen shots turn the match already. I wonder if we're going to see another one. Christina failing to go for that 2 9 combination. You just wonder if that one's going to come back to haunt her. Yeah. What a great match we have here. None of these women want to give up. This is really great to witness. Try to stay composed. Ready to battle. Had a few shots and miscalculations, but none may be bigger than Christina not electing to go for that 2 9 combination. Yeah, I don't know if she really want, wanted to go for it because the way she played it looks like she played to, to hide the cue ball and create distance between balls. Oh, that was absolutely what she was playing. And uh, again, 
the nine was tracking right to the side pocket. I would have looked to play yeah. the nine and still try to play the safety as well. She could have, yeah, she could have yeah. played it tried. probably a number of different ways. But here we go. It's all in the past now. 2-1, still in favor of Christina Takach and Seming Chen. She's been breaking so well. She needs a few now. That was well, I put the commentator's curse on her. Okay, we're going to have a push out there. That would be interesting to see the decision she makes to find a, a good push out here. Push out for safety, kick. There is no way Simin Chen is going to give this back. Oh, she hit the point. She has to decide what to do here. And the thing is, she could carry on the, the one and try to make the nine stay behind the four with a soft rolling shot. I don't know if she's... Yeah, that's the shot. Wow. Perfect shot. Perfect shot. Was always on. And now, breaking for the match, 3-1 in front. So we can say that the push-out was a good push-out. <laughs> yeah, very true. You got to know your opponent. Yeah. But a few shots actually, like that that we thought that uh, Seming Chen really had a pretty easy kick and a full hit to try and hold the cue ball behind cover, and she hasn't contacted it very well. Yeah, and she hit the point of the side pocket, which leads the one ball towards the nine. That's... Sometimes that's, that's part of the game. And Christina, after losing the first set, 4-1 is on the hill. And why should it be a quick yeah. finish? I don't think... Yeah, maybe she can pocket the nine. Maybe it's open. Yeah, the one. Sorry. So She's then looking the at the four, four to see if the four is available. Yeah. Yeah, I think the four passes the eight. I mean, she really want to try to catch this line because then the cue ball 
would have to hit the, the eight and go towards the corner pocket. So that's the problem she has right now. She's going to have to cue this three real good, too, if she wants to draw this two cushions and get nicely onto the four. Oh, she's not even going to try and get close. So, yeah, the contact from the eight. Yeah, she's going to have to negotiate that for position to the five. She can also stop the cue ball at the position of the four and sending the four ball up table. She can also yeah, Maybe do that's this. her plan. I don't know. Because it looks, here, it looks very to tricky to try and pocket this four and get positioned to, to the five. Yeah. I think she's going for the save here. No, she, okay. Yeah, I was wondering if the five ball would pass the seven. I think it is. No, she's in a tough spot. Top Do left. Or die. Yeah. What a shot there. What a shot. Okay, it's not over till it's over. We're gonna have yeah, a fight in Christina. TBM. All those spot shots that you were practicing at the start. Maybe you knew what we didn't. She'll break in rack six to try and force the shootout. Yeah. Jessica Centennial, world 10 bowl champion this year, last year. Yeah, I think a lot of them have made their way to table two in the Rio, hoping to see a shootout. They need Seming Chen to deliver this rack to fulfill their wish. Yeah, she has the one. I don't know if the two ball passes the seven, which is a big point here. I guess it is. Yeah, that was a tough one. Mm. 
one. Looks like it might pass the six into that corner pocket, Ben. And if the three goes by the seven, or sorry, the two goes by the seven, yeah. then this is a chance. Up there. Wow, what a speed control that was. She really stays calm and concentrated and focused. This is really great to watch. She has the win in her hands now. Yeah, she does. And this is where you got to hold yourself together. And all those hours of practice that you put in allow it to become muscle memory. Yeah. And it stands That's up under pressure. Mm. Right. And she might know that she's played her last shot in this event, or at least feel like she has. Yeah, Christina is really playing great with a good rhythm, no rush, stay calm. Yeah, I think she's what, done it. We, yeah. We really witnessed a big match here. A great battle of these two women. Same pre-shot routine. The nine for the win. Dead center. What a gutsy performance. Christina to catch through to the semifinals. Lost the first set 4 1. Dug down. Showed the characters <laughs> we knew she had. And what a yeah. gutsy win that's her for her, Ben. She might be happy to go to the semis also. That's great. I mean, yeah. Yeah, she'll really sit emotions. back and relish the moment. She can't wait too long, though. She's going to be in action again a little later on. And the final yeah. is tomorrow, but Fedor Gorst, yeah, he's pretty happy <laughs> for her, too. So, okay, it's steak tonight, not hamburger. Yeah, that's good. Well, it was a good quarterfinals, and uh, we can't wait to see the, the last stages of that Predator Pro Video Series Women's Showdown. That that was Jim Welsh and myself, Benjamin Hassan, and really enjoyed that battle with, with those two women. And we look forward to other battles like this in the other of the show. Bye.